again, welcome back to another beer from my Chicago box, Beer 52 Chicago box, that I got in August, <laughs> it's now December, I'll try to catch up. So this is called, it's from Penrose Brewing, Brewing Company, I think they're called, and it's a Session Sour, and that's what it's called, Session Sour. Let's have a wee look on the can. Uh, yeah, just it's 12 fluid ounces. Don't know what that means. It's a bright citrus hop aroma with a dry tart finish. Penrose Brewing, Geneva, Illinois. Or is that Illinois? So, 355ml. That, that makes more sense to me. Ingredients, water, malted barley, oats, hops, yeast. So I'm expecting smooth. So it's just called Session Sour. So I do like my sour beers. Let's crack it open. Before that, isn't that a lovely can? The beautiful artwork in there. Anyway. Let's see what it's like. You know, I was thinking as I was pouring it there, it's not very fizzy at all. So I'll put a bit of head in it. Well, it didn't um, it turned into a knob head pour. It was very active, it needed a slow pour. There's about a, an inch, no, three quarters of an inch, a finger of quite mousse like foam. I don't think that'll last. Colour is. It's a pale gold, it's very pale. There's a haziness to it, there's some slight carbonation. A few bubbles. Oh, release the aromas. Well, it's, it's yeasty, but it's, and it's very citrusy. There's maybe like a wee bit burnt toasty as well. <laughs> That's maybe just my imagination. I haven't been actually burning toast, so it's not that. Maybe a slight maltiness. Anyway, cheers, my dears. Oh, it's very carbonated. Effervescent is the word. When it's nicely fruity there's an earthiness to it as well that taste but it's not hanging around at all well there is a it has developed a wee bit into a maltiness it's not overly sour or tart I'm going in again you are getting that initial burst of tartness like sucking the lemon <laughs> a wee shiver there it goes quite quickly and then you're getting the fruitiness and that develops into a, a quite nice maltiness like a, a bread crusty maltiness that's a really nice beer do you like my Christmas decorations? Let's have a wee breakdown on the, the chart. I've actually not left my, myself much room for this. Let's see if I can move these without them coping our. There's a good Scottish word for you. Cope. Try to translate it. I'm trying to think what the English translation is for cope. Tip, tip over. Cope. 
But there's also another meaning of kelp. Which is, if this place is like a tip, it's like a cowp. You know, like a rubbish tip. So it's, it means tip, but it's got two different meanings, like tip. There's your Scots lesson, Scots language lesson for today. So this is a tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. And we'll do the wee light test to show you the colours. Yeah, so I mean that just that shows you how pale it is. It's a very it's a pale straw. It's a beautiful colour. It's like a golden hue, it's gold. Pale gold, I'll see. It looks like a wee gold bar in a glass. Liquid gold. So I'm gonna say that's uh, maybe a three between a three and a four. Clarity, there's a slight haze to it. Colour of foam head retention, it's none basically. There is a there's a, a film on the surface which but it's not that, it's quite thin. I suppose that stops it oxidising. It's not going to last long enough to get oxidised. The foam is thin foam texture. Carbonation, there was there was some slow bubbles there. Well I can't see any now, so I'm gonna say none. The aroma alcohol are not detectable. The hops what was I getting? Um, it's very fruity and citrusy. So it's citrusy and fruity. You know, there's a very slight earthiness to it. Earthiness isn't one of the the options on here. Maybe it should be. They've got like floral and green and herbal. It's no. It's not floral. It's no, it's not really green. Green, I, th I take to be like fresh and sappy, but uh, the malt, you're not getting much on the nose at all. The flavour and aftertaste, alcohol, not detectable. Yeah, the hot flavour is citrus and fruity. That's very tart. Sour. You know like when you eat sour sweets or something like that? But it's pleasant. But it doesn't last too long. I'm going to need to put this old bit of specs on. Yeah, so the hot flavour. There's no spiciness there or... I'm just going to say citrus and fruity. The hot bitterness is restrained. The malt flavour, yeah, there was a slightly breadiness to it. Malt sweetness low. Palate astringency, I'm going to say it's medium. Medium to high, actually, because, I mean, not in a bad way. The body is very drying. There's hardly any sweetness here at all. Palate carbonation is high. The length is medium, up to 60 seconds. Balance and drinkability, desirable, style, appropriate. It's a very nice beer. It's an unusual one, actually. Let's have a wee look on Untapped and see what we've got to say on there. There we go. So it's called Session Sour from Penrose Brewing Company. We are in Geneva, Illinois, United States. We are a microbrewery. It's described as a sour other. I don't know what that means. 4% ABV, 15 IBU. There's no French check-ins. Everyone else, 7,500 with an average of 3.68. That's fairly decent. Another step in our low ABV kettle soured series. Our session sour ale utilises Amarillo hops to bring a grapefruit pop to welcome in clean tartness and shandy-like brightness. 
So the Shanga-like brightness, I think they mean by that is the effervescence. It's very tart. The grapefruit, that's just the citrus is the is grapefruit, yeah. Oh, so you get that. The effervescence, very bubbly. It doesn't, it doesn't last. And then you get in that citrusiness, citrus. Citrusness, 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 grapefruit. So the descriptors are sour, tart, light, dry, hoppy. Now, sour and tart to me are synonyms. There might be a difference in the, de the definitions, but they're interchangeable for me. So sour tart, light, dry, hoppy. I wouldn't say hoppy. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe that earthiness is what they're saying by the hoppy, the plant, the plant like. <laughs> it's tart, that like. It's really nice. Yeah, so they've given that. It's an average of 3.68. I'm going to give this. Uh, 7.8 out of 10 almost an 8 a very nice beer you couldn't drink a lot of them but that would cut through spicy food uh, you could have it as long as a, where if you're drinking spirits to cleanse your palate that would, that would cleanse it totally so overall, actually, I might even bump it up to an 8. Of day an 8 out of 10. It's a very nice beer, well made. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears.